Hello, welcome to this video. It's Lena Chen from datalena.com. And in today's video tutorial, I'm going to share a few reasons why a lot of persons are not making profit with the Royal Keyboard. And in this video, what I'm just literally going to share is some of the experience I've had and the different kinds of settings and configurations that a lot of persons are doing that is making them not profit with this board. That is basically what I'm going to share in this video. So if you are new to my channel and you love videos about making money online, about crypto trading and investing, then consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published on this channel. So if you don't know already, Royal Q is actually a crypto trading board that helps you automate your trading with Binance or the Huobi exchange. So if I click on the API binding here, yeah, just click on this API binding here. If I click click on it, you see that this board works with Binance and then these are the two exchanges that this board works with. And currently this board is connected to my Binance account. It means that with this board, I can be automatically trading on my Binance account and be making profit without me doing the work. So that is what it is. I've test run this. It has worked for me and I believe it will equally work for you. So if you want to start, get started with the bot, there will be a link in the video description to download the app. Um, just go click the link, sign up for an account, download the app, and then follow the other videos, which I will leave links in the video description to set up the bot. But the problem here is people who are already at, who have already activated this board are not making gains because one of the mistakes a lot of persons make is that first they have hundred dollar in their account and then they want to trade more than ten pairs with just hundred dollar. It doesn't work that way. Each of these pair for a particular each trade that is carried out on this account, it will cost you ten USDT. It will cost you ten USDT. For instance, if I'm trading um let's say i'm trading ethereum usdt it means that once i go ahead and configure this trade and i click here by default it is trading already that's why you see pause here that where you see the red bar where you say pause it is because i'm trading already but once i click on that start the first buy call that this trade will carry out will cost me 10 usdt and that is the minimum you can carry out per trade you can go, let's say you can ask the board to call 20, 50, 100, depending on the funds you have on your account. But you cannot have $10, $100 in your account and you want to trade more than two pairs. It cannot work that way. Now, let me explain further. If I click on any of this coin, let's say this is a pair you want to trade. And I go ahead and click on down here where it says trade settings. So I go ahead and click on it. This is the setting interface for this particular trade. Let's say I want to carry out this trade. The minimum first buy in amount is $10 and subsequently each one will cost you 10 USDT. So it means that if I want to go with the default setting where it says margin call limit, the margin call limit by default, it comes seven times. That is the default that comes with this trade setting with each pair you want to trade with the Royal Q. Now, if you want to go with the default setting which you have of the margin call limit, which is seven times, it means that you need to have more than $2,000, let's say close to approximately $3,000 to be able to successfully carry out this trade. To successfully carry out this trade and make maximum profit, you need approximately $3,000 in your account. Because the default setting, if I click on it, what it simply means is now when I click on it and it opens up, what it simply means is that what this board, the strategy behind this board trading for you, it uses what is called DCA, that is dollar cost averaging strategy to trade. So what it does at each interval, because of the volatility of the crypto market, at each interval, this board by default it has been configured to keep buying. And then when it increases it sells. This is the setting. If what you we are saying here is the whole position um, take profit ratio is 1.3. So if I activate this pair right now and it buys, once that particular pair increases by 1.3, it will take profit. So here the margin call limit is actually seven times. So if I come down here to where say margin configuration and click on this, this is what we get. Now on the first call here, what this simply means is that what you are telling this particular bot to do for you is that when this particular pair you want to trade goes down by 3.5% from the first call that you carry that once it is activated, 
when the when that particular pair or coin goes down by 3.5 percent you want it to buy two times now buying two times means that it will buy double which in this case will be 10 usdt by another 10 usdt in this case you need 20 usdt to be able to carry out this first call when it goes down by four percent you are instructing the board to buy four times so buying four times means that you need 40 usdt to be able to carry this so 20 usdt here plus 40 here that is about 60 usdt so out of your hundred dollars the first 10 usdt has been removed for the first call when you started it when it goes down by 3.5 percent which it will then it will actually buy two times that means out of your 100 usdt you are now left with 70 usdt so when it goes down by four percent it will buy four times four times that is you are left with 30 usdt out of your 100 usdt then on the third call you are instructing the board to buy eight times this time around it won't carry because eight times mean you need another 80 dollars remember after this first and second you are only left with 30 usdt so you need at least 80 dollars to be able to carry out the second call the third call here so the same thing goes on and on so at the fourth call you want it to buy 16 times and then at the seventh call you want it to buy 128 times so if you want to follow this default margin call setting on the trading on on the royal queue board you need a minimum of two thousand five hundred and forty dollars to be able to follow this because what this does is that by default the setting uh, uh, what the setting the default setting here is does is that it can buy up to when this particular market drops up to 12 percent in the market so it to keep buying for you and then when it, it increases at each stage it will sell and take profit when it increases at this stage it will sell and take profit so you cannot be trading with 100 usdt and you want to go with the default setting even 1000 usdt will not go with this default setting if you want to trade more than one pair so for one pair alone if you are using this seven calls the seven margin call it means that you need to have a minimum of two thousand four five hundred and forty dollars or thereabout to be able to carry out this particular setting um to be able to trade and make profit with this particular setting so if you are using one let's say if you have 100 usdt in your account and you want to trade with that please go with one pair and when you go with one pair come in here to the margin call limit somewhere here to the margin call limit click on it and change it to two even when you change it to two you will still need to come in here to the margin configuration when i change it to two you see it is only two first call and second call that is showing up here and on this one yes you can go with it it will still work for you that means if the market draws by four percent it can buy four times so with one hundred dollar you can actually carry out the trade with this one pair but if you want to trade more than one pair then you can keep this as one and then keep this as one or thereabout so it all depends you do the calculation it means what i'm explaining here is that here if you want it to buy two times it means that you need 20 dollars to do that if you want it to buy four times it means that you need that another 40 dollars so 40 plus two here that is 60 dollars plus the one you already did that is 70 dollars so you're only left with 30 dollars or thereabout so if you want to activate another pair you have it in mind that you have only 30 dollars to carry out that trade so this is these are the basic things you need to understand when you want to carry out a trade um, using the royal cube board so a lot of persons have let's say 200 300 dollars and then they are trading more than one pair using the default setting uh, the default margin call setting it will work for you that way the trade will just be there the board will just be there it will it will get confused itself on what and what to do so these are part of this is one of the major reasons why a lot of persons are not making profit with this board. So if you have 100 USDT, go ahead. If you must trade more than one pair, then go ahead and go to the trade setting. Go ahead and go to your margin call limit and change it to either one or two. And then when you change it to one or two, let's say I change it to two and I come in here to the margin con configuration, you will now specify if you want it by 4%. You can say okay buy two times and then if you want it to draw when it draws one percent buy um one time or thereabout you can go ahead and specify this and after that you click on confirm and then you can go ahead and save and after saving you will now be able to start trading with that board 
and when you start trading with that bot all you just need to do is you know go ahead and confirm and just click on start here and the bot will start trading for you that is basically what i wanted to note here and if you want me to personally share my own strategy then what i need is to get at least 2000 likes on this video if i get 2000 likes on this video i will definitely make a video step by step that shows you my own personal trading strategies that i use to make profit on a daily basis i use a very low amount of money like 300 dollars on my account and it is making me a decent amount of profit on my account and some persons may be asking five dollars three dollars two dollars or even a dollar one a day is not much well if you want to make more profit with that you add more money in your account because um trading crypto yourself you accept your trading features and you know what you're doing it is actually something that is difficult and you need a lot of skills and you need to learn a lot of technical analysis to be able to you know make profit in the market so when you automate this you can actually use this to automate your spot trading and then you do features yourself so that is basically what i do and that is what i'm sharing with you so if you want my trade settings for the real keyboard and you want me to walk you step by step on how to do it and how to profit with this bot then i need at least 2000 likes on this video and if i get that like then i'll make a video as soon as that is achieved so that is all i have for you in this video once again if you are new to this channel you love videos about making money online about crypto trading and investing consider subscribing hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published and if you want to learn more my link to join my telegram group will be in the video description where i send out signals on a daily basis and if you want my services you want to subscribe to my um you know vip group to be getting more than two signals a day then link will equally be in the video description just visit digitalena.com and go subscribe for your signals on a monthly basis and you'll be getting signals to trade features and perpetual so that is it for this video i'll see you in the next video